Hello and welcome to Fox Scripts. In this video tutorial, I would like to show you the basic functionality of Fox Retimer in high speed. So, let's start. We've got this little panel, Fox Retimer. We can make it a little smaller. It's designed to be a compact panel that really fits into your UI. And what it does is actually, if you use time remapping to change whatever kind of animation you actually did, let's just take this really simple animation, which is just some countdown as you can see we just have these numbers counting down and maybe we say okay for the three we would like to have a lot more time we can do that by easily time remapping this layer go to the point where the three appears set a keyframe go to the point where our welcome appears just like here and maybe let's just put that apart and give the three more time to stand and let's just apply that. And as you can see, Fox Retimer applies this time remapping immediately to our layers. And that is really, really handy. Let me just show you some more examples, like this tiny little text animation. What you can do with Fox Retimer here, maybe we can just switch into our retiming comp. I already prepared that, which is just a comp where we retime that animation we see down there with this nice little curve just to have it like ease out in the animation. Okay, let's just apply Fox Retimer to that. And you can see that all our layers are now distributed along our curve, just like that. So that's a very handy little feature to just lay out your animations linearly, and then you can easily time them with Fox Retimer. But what it's really handy for is handling complex projects. Let's just step into this dubstep trailer I did here. Let's just watch it first. Here you go. So that's a really, really musically fitted piece. And you can see that I animated here some some invert opacity keyframes. We got these, which are scaling, we got these layers. And then maybe we should make another version of this trailer to maybe house music. Let's just look at this one. Here I used time remapping to just mark these points. Let's quickly undo that and redo that. So what I really did is enable time remapping. And then I went to the individual pieces where we timed something like here. And then I hit the add keyframe here. Let's just go in here and add a key here. Let's just go in here and add a key here and go in here and add a key here. Here we got some house music that is actually playing to that. Let's listen to that. Also a very rhythmic piece. So maybe we should adjust this timing to fit these pieces. And I'm gonna do that exactly like just fitting these keyframes to our music. And that's really, really nice. It works really, really great just to retime this like that. But what I don't like is these gray pieces here. So as you can see, we have these, there we go opacity in between keyframes and I don't really like them. So what I'm gonna do is um, start Fox retiming this and snap the decisions to whole frames so that there is no frame. In this case, these frames are one frame after another and here one keyframe is between two frames. If we snap this to whole frames, I can just apply that. You can see that Fox timer does its job. It takes a little longer if there are more keyframes than before. But you can see if we just compare this with our dubstep trailer, let's put it in the same launch here, that it has been shorted and it really fits our new music now. Let's maybe put it in here directly. And there we go. And let's play that. Perfect. And also, let's just do it another time. We've got another music already. By the way, this music is from Bandsound. Amazing royalty-free music there. 
And yeah, we also retime that and it's really slow. And maybe here I want to adjust the flickering. So I just gonna hit apply and quickly apply our time remapping to all of our, our layers. And here maybe we can just delete, maybe we delete the whole inversion thing. Oh, and there we have the dubstep sound, which is really, really trashy like that. You can see that all our layers have been timed exactly to this new music. And what I just want to show you in the last thing here is that even with the complex project of, for example, here our trailer or promo trailer, you can see that we got um, nested compositions with crazy animation in here. And if we just retime that and say maybe, okay, if we want to have a little more time here, maybe we can just go to the end of the trailer. Let's set a keyframe here. Let's delete this one and maybe set another keyframe here. And let's time this up by holding shift and spreading these apart. Now we've got a lot more time inside of here. And we can always decide, okay, then maybe let's make a curve here. And let's gradually move and speed up back again okay just like that and also we can apply that as you can see it will take a little longer than the original example with just a few layers because because this time there are really really a lot of stuff to do and as you can see everything will be edited just so that we have this long pause here and as you can see nested precoms are just time remapped but as you can see we can apply time remapping so there's no need to leave this time remapping on it we can just apply it here as well and then also these keyframes inside of here these keyframes are moved apart just to give us the space we really wanted and to make our animation slower that's fox retimer it applies time remapping deeply inside of after effects it's a really really handy tool check out the manual if you have any questions feel free to ask here is a very intuitive manual we included. If you have any questions, feel free to ask us to write us if you find bugs. Please report them so that we can help each other to make the best tool possible. Thanks a lot for watching and have fun using Fox Retimer. Bye bye.